Hi there, this is KSAT meteorologist Katie Blake with a quick weather update for you at the time of this recording. It's just about 2.20 on Sunday afternoon. A look at radar shows that we do have some scattered shower and thunderstorm activity developing this afternoon. This has generally originated across the hill country and also closer to the Austin area. There's no severe weather out there currently, but these thunderstorms are dropping some very, very heavy rain, producing frequent lightning and also some gusty winds. They're also not moving terribly fast, so that could re uh, result in uh, some quick ponding on the roadways and also some very isolated flooding issues as the afternoon goes on simply because these storms just are not moving very fast at all. As these thunder showers are falling apart around places like San Marcos, Canyon Lake, Comfort and Bernie, they're producing outflow boundaries. Those are the thin green lines you see moving on the screen. Those outflow boundaries can help produce new shower and thunderstorm activity, and we'll see this pattern continue as the afternoon goes on with a general movement south with all this thunderstorm activity. So uh, rain is expected to fill in farther south over San Antonio, Bear County and along the Highway 90 corridor as the afternoon goes on. So through about sunset this evening, scattered showers and storms will be possible. So if you're going to be out and about this afternoon uh, running errands, getting ready for the week ahead, just know you could certainly run into some scattered heavy downpours and non severe storms as we get past sunset around nine o'clock rain will become more isolated and then it will taper off as we get closer to midnight. Keep in mind today this afternoon and evening the overall severe weather threat is very low so we're not looking at large hail issues we're not looking at damaging winds and that's good news but these summertime thunderstorms will be capable of frequent lightning so remember when thunder roars head indoors and these downpours will also be capable of producing um, some gusty winds as they produce those outflow boundaries. And then also because any rain could be quite heavy, we could see a few isolated flooding issues as the afternoon goes on. So just be ready to take it easy on the roads. If you will be out and about, of course, you can uh, keep up with what's going on with the weather right in the palm of your hand. You can check radar. You'll get forecast updates with the KSAT Weather Authority app. I'll be providing updates there as the afternoon goes on. And of course, I'll have the very latest for you coming up on KSAT News at 5. 30 later on this evening. Have a good and safe afternoon.